Hey guys, welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Today we are going to talk about a beautiful little orange fish from South America called Hephaestobrycon flamius or the flame tetra. They've been in the hobby for a long time, but I think they're a little bit underrated. Their color really pops and they're not very big. Let's take a look. As you can see, flame tetras are exceptionally vibrant. They come from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, where they're on the threatened list, so the vast majority of them are commercially bred throughout South America and offered for export that way. They're also much bigger body. You can see a few green neons in the background that give you an idea of scale. Though they're not very big fish, they're still only about an inch or so. They can take a range of pHs from about 5.5 to about 7.5, temp from high 60s, 68 or higher to about 78. They're omnivorous, meaning they're very, very easy to feed in the aquarium. Taking frozen, live, or pelleted or dried foods pretty darn readily. Very easy fish to feed. They look best with a lot of plants. They come from slow flowing tributary streams that have a lot of vegetation and generally slightly stained water with a dark sandy substrate. Now this tank has some plants but no substrate at all and you can see they still pop so that is not a rule, just a guideline. They're wonderful to house with dwarf cichlids, Coriodorus, smaller plecos, and other tetras. I probably wouldn't keep these with shrimp just because they have a relatively large size in comparison to the shrimp. Um, though it certainly may work in a planted setup with a lot of dense coverage. The males are smaller and slightly more colorful. You can see in this frame there's some really fat females. Like most tetras, they don't exhibit any parental care. They just scatter their eggs, so you would want to either mop spawn them and, or uh, put down some sort of grating for the eggs to fall through. In a really, really densely planted tank, it's entirely likely that you would have small amounts of fry surviving. Again, just a really lovely, vibrant, hearty tetra that I thought you guys might enjoy. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things now. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below.